No solution. There's homeless has been a Redwood City since the day I got hired here. Um, there's some people I've been dealing with for 30 years, homeless people that I've been dealing with in my entire police career, and we just kind of have a, a friendly professional relationship. But um, back to your point, I was going to, to answer your question with a, with a story. And the story is when I had uh, Street Life Ministries, as I volunteer to Street Life Ministries and I see people come through the food line, those are people are homeless people or people with check to check people or living in their car. And um, those are not, I don't see a lot of those people in my police contacts, but they're mm. still homeless and there's, there's, we don't have contacts with them. Then there's a whole segment out there that we have of homeless that we have contacts with every day, mm. every day. And um, so it's, it's, there's two different types of people out there. And I would say the ones that the police have contacts every day, um, substance abuse, mental health, homeless, um, probably criminal activity, probation or parole status. And um, there's no headway or there's, you know, there's no effort. It's just a revolving door for them. And I don't know how you solve that. If you hit them over the head with law enforcement and lock them up every time, if that's the trick, or if you give them a carrot yeah. and try and give them some type of rehab, that's street life ministries or social services, if that sticks. Yeah. Um, but there's no, as you say, there's no magic wand to any of it. It's um, And then Redwood City gets more than its fair share. You, show me a city in San Mateo County that has the social services. What city in San Mateo County has a Fair Oaks Community Center? Right. No. I, I can't think of anybody. Yeah. I mean, we have social workers on the city payroll. Right. And, and Redwood City Police and the Fair Oaks Community Center social workers work together constantly. We're always getting people ha temporary housing, long-term housing, return back to their house, maybe into a program. Yeah. I mean, it happens all the time. But so I don't know if I answered your question, but I don't, I don't know what the cause is. No, you know, it's uh, there is no answer to it. It's just it is what it is. I mean, I know. I mean, I'm on Zoom calls with Eric and Terry and a bunch of people that are part of uh, Fair Oaks Community Center, the Redwood City Police, and. Mm -hmm. And everybody is, you know, everybody's trying to do so much to try to r solve this problem. And it just, it, it's it's hard. It's like you, you never, know, everything's, every, every human being is different. So every situation becomes a different situation. And it's hard. It's a, you're constantly like r with on the ground running, trying to figure out what's a, what's a good solution, you know? Yeah.